Okay, this video is going to be on how to make a simple loomed pattern with a rainbow loom. So the one I've chose to start with I got from braceletbook.com and it is rainbow dash. It's a 7 pixel wide so this will be perfect to use as a beginning video on the rainbow loom. I bought a pack of the jelly bands and if you look at the picture you could see like say there's four of these blue so I've sorted out so there's four double rows of the blue. Each pixel here you're going to use two bands for. So just out of this one I was able to get the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, and the dark blue that I needed for this. Um, for the majority of the colors is the blue and the purple. So I've gone ahead and I bought um, bags of bands for the blue and, and the purple and I don't know if I want to go with the darker jelly or the lighter jelly yet. Of course whenever you're doing a looming project you want to get yourself some clear loom bands to do your crossover pieces and here is the blue that I've chosen to do. So let's get started. Anytime you get ready to do a looming project with a rainbow loom um, on the way that I'm going to be showing you. I'm showing you the way that's typically known as the nifty knitter way. Um, here again, here is a nifty knitter. You could use this as well as this pro either one you can do this on right now and they're the same method. And the way we do this is we're going to pull this center piece out and we're also going to pop the back off. We don't need the back, this large back anyway. So this is going to leave us with the rainbow loom and the two pieces on the end like this. This leaves an opening for a possible one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pegs. Because you have to have a room for your creation to come down between the two pegs. Okay, let's get started. Okay, now when you're going to start your creation with a rainbow loom, you always have to get your first row which is going to be the only row that we do in an X pattern while we're putting it on. Now I'm going to start you out here. So you see the first row is the, right here but what I'm going to do is go from here to here. So you'll see the first one we want is going to be purple. So what you do is you take your two purples and only on the first row will you do this, you're going to do like this. And this is going to be very hard to do because you're going to put these on and twist them at the same time. And at this point you're thinking, oh my god, is that going to break? That's very tight. Bear with me on this. You're going to need this so you can actually... Oops, no. That is not going there. If I would look at the pattern, we're going to need the blue here. So the first one's purple, the second one's blue, and like I said, when you're using the jellies, you're going to get a tight product here. Another blue, and it's going to pull your loom in, so you're going to want to put this on and get it off as soon as you can. So there's going to be five... Okay, as you can see from the way I have this loom set up, um, purple, 
blue, 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 blue. Here's the five blues. There's the other purple. This is your starter row. Every time you put your bands on the starter rows, you take them, twist them in half like this, and then you twist them and put them on. And I'm telling you, with these jellies, it, it's extremely hard. But as you can see, it's possible. Don't give up. So we get these on there. So then, these are what we are calling the crossover bands. So we'll push these down. Okay, and then we take one of these and always put them on from left to right. So we'll put them over four. And then our next one, we're going to start on this fourth peg that we just covered and we're going to go four again. So even though there's only seven pegs, it's one, two, three, four. Go over the same one, one, two, three, four. So that is our first row. So I have a magnetic strip right here and this is a small cookie pan so I'm going to put this over there on that first row so I know that's gone now and I, I'm all done with it. So I look and my second row is three purples, a blue, and three purples. So again I take two purples, my first row, and don't twist them, don't cut them in half, don't do nothing. No twisty, no bendy, no crossy. Okay, so here's my first three. Okay, now again, blue on the on the next one. Let me grab some blue. Here we go. And what I'm going to do is just put some blue right here for us. There we go. And I'll put some clear so I don't have to keep reaching over. Okay, so we got these on. We got this on. Okay, and the purple's right here. We're going to put the purple on. Three of them. Okay. Now here is where it starts getting a little tricky. Now, when we put the bands on, we put them on from left to right. When we lift them up over, we always lift them up over from right to left. So when we do, you see how it forms a neat little line right here in the center? That's what we're looking for. Okay just like that. And before we get too far, we did the second one, so let's not lose track of that. We put that right up there. I try to do it each time before I loom. Okay, so these are lifted up. So what do we got now? We have to get these bottom bands up over the top. And on this first road, it's very difficult. And some people use these hooks to loom with and some people use the rainbow loom. So I'm going to start this off with a rainbow loom, see how it goes. So we got to grab these two and lift them up over. Grab these two, lift them up over. Now you want to be careful that these don't slip off because it's very tight. And you will notice tension leaving as soon as you get these up over because this was very tight. Okay, so there we have one side undone. We're going to turn this around now. And here's a good thing. Now I'm going to tell you, always when you're looming and you start, try to mark off the end you started with. So all I'm going to do, actually I'll take a blue band. And that way I always know this is the direction my looming process is going in. From here, this is this corner. Okay, in case I get this turned around and don't remember which way it's going, all these pegs aren't full, so it's pretty easy to tell which way things are going on this particular one. But it's not always that easy. And you always want to make sure you get all these. The ones that are the same color can be tricky on this first row because there's so many of them. Here we go. We'll get these up. So this is a pretty easy first two rows. There we go. So when we got this, push these all right down into the center, like so. And push these right down. And see we're back to this corner. So now again, we take a cross band. One through four. Four through seven. And we go on to our next row. 
So again, we got three purple, a blue, and three purple. So again, we find ourselves putting them on like this. Just like this. And then a blue. And like I said, the first row is the only one that you are going to ever put an X on here. Unless you're doing something I'm not doing. But in a basic one, this is all we're going to do. Okay, again, right to left always. And you can do this with your finger or you can do it with your hook. Whatever you're most comfortable with. And here, you can use one of these for it. You know, or you can use your band if you have them. In this case, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to use this for now. Just to show you how it's done. And as you notice, I didn't bring my thing up yet and I got to do that. That's one of the hardest things to remember to do for myself is remembering to move that um, chart up each time. And if you don't do it before you loom your bands, just do it after. And I certainly remember that I put two rows of three on. And try not to lose any of these things over the edge. Okay, so we'll move this up one. And this time we have a purple, five blue, and a purple. But we got to put our cross bands on first. You'll notice if you forget to put these cross bands on, you will definitely notice that you are going nowhere and fast. Because it's not going to be right and it won't take you long to figure that out. Okay, there's the purple. I'm going to have five rows of blue. Like I said, these are a tight band. They're going to be a tight fitting project, so hopefully we'll enjoy it. These jelly bands last a long time. Right to left again. We'll go back to the rainbow loom to lift them up over. The loom, the loom what hook. Okay. I love doing this and you can be pretty creative in this. There's so much you can do. Okay, and we'll move these down some. Push them down. Okay. Here's our next row. It's going to be our cross bands and then it's going to be all purple all the way across. So. As you're putting these on, it, as long as you know this all purple, you really don't have to count anything. You can put them on any which way you want, as long as they all get on there. You're not going to lose count or anything of three purple, one blue. Just get them on there. Okay. And again, we put these like this. Up and over. You can tell these are doing that. They're looking a little funny coming off because they're close because it's close to that side as you see. The project is holding up against this peg here. There we'll center them again. Okay. So this one, we're going to put our cross bands on. This works up pretty quick if you only got seven pegs. So this one we're going to have two purples here. We're going to turn around and have three blues. One, two, and remember I always use two, three. I'm going to have a purple, a blue, and a purple. I have found this is going to be very pretty. 
can't wait to see. I haven't never made this before. I found a way to make this look really pretty with these jelly colors. And it's a good beginner's one. So I hope you enjoy making this as much as I am right now. It would certainly make a good gift for someone or to keep as your own. Okay, let's push this down. There we go. Uh, I'm going to have to take a short break here because I'm going to have to cook supper. That's one of the things you got to do. Okay, purple. Blue. Purple. Blue. Purple. Blue and purple. Boy, this alternated the whole way. To continue our video, let's let's see what we got here. Okay, we gotta pull these up over. Love these two colors together. Very pretty. And one thing I'd like to mention while you are making these, don't be afraid at what you're seeing underneath when you first start out. You'll say, oh my god, look at this. How is this ever going to be anything? Don't be alarmed. Okay. Put these crossbands on. To glute. Okay, here we go. Now this time we have two purple and a blue and a purple. Sometimes I have like a song in my tone because I'm usually happy all the time. It's not a bad way to be. So. When you really like life, it puts a song in your heart sometimes. Oh, I'm not even being philosophical or anything like that. I'm just being myself here. Happy Loomer. Here we go. And if I forget to say, like, oh, I picked this up or that up, you can see it just by watching. You're almost as good as this as I am already. Just by going this far with this video, you're already... A Got half the battle won because you're saying, oh my god, is this easy? What an easy way to use my rainbow loom for something. If that happens, pop it back on. Not a big deal. Pop, pop. Okay, here we go. Oop, happened on both ends. Getting frisky. Okay, let's move this up. And we are two. All purple again. So I guess that means we got two two uh, letters down from what it looks like. Okay, so all purple. Sometimes my fingers just don't want to work. Here we go. Purple, purple. And some of you may have a lesser quality loom. And about this time, well if you made it through the first aisle, a lot of times you'll say, oh my god, my loom's going to break. And I won't guarantee you it's not going to be breaking. But they do bend a lot. So keep that in mind and uh, just go for it. I'm going to make quite a few of these little videos, so if this isn't the one you want to do, later on I'm going to do a Minecraft one, and uh, maybe you'll like that better. But I'm going to try to put a bunch of simple videos on, all easy, um, so you can have a choice of ones that you want to make. 
Okay, all purple. Move that up. Now you notice cross bands, you only need one. So you don't really ever have a cause for two of them. Purple is the beginning of this one, as you see. Whoa, sometimes they fly. They take wings and they fly. Okay, purple. Then we got four blue. One. Two. Three. Four. And two purple. Now you might say, why aren't I looming my loom the other way? Because looming it this way, because it would be pretty long the other way. And I want to keep this just as easy as I can make it. Here we are. We'll move that up. Okay, this is where we're at. Um, our dog just jumped up on my son's car. He's not here and scratched the heck out of the back door. He's not going to be happy. But I almost guarantee you, he's 16. And he probably left a food wrapper or something in his back seat, or his friends did. And that must be the dog must smell something in there. It's not something she usually does, so I guess that's the price you pay. So he won't be too happy when he gets home. Okay, here we go. This is where we're at. We just finished the one purple, four blue, two purple. So, put this on. This time we've got three purple. A blue. There's my potato exploding. A purple. A blue and a purple. We'll move this up. And then we'll move these over. Here we are. I think it's getting ready to explode. It sounds like the fireworks like whistling in there. It's too funny. Okay. So there we are. And you see this goes along pretty darn quick, doesn't it? Well, you know what? You have a beautiful picture. Okay. Oh, see, you don't want to lose that. There we are. Okay, this time we have a purple. Push that down. Four blue. Push these all down. One. Two. Three. Four and two purple. One, two, okay, I'm going to pull this up, here we go, Okay. That would have finished our A, so if we look at our chart, we got all seven purple again. Which means go ahead and put them on here in any order you need to. Sort of like a free-for-all. Whoops, we don't want that one here. Whoops, now that's a baked potato in the microwave that just got done. Now we'll probably get to hear it beeping. And that's a good thing about videos. It's real life. It's uh, whatever's happening 
Well, the person is making it, and at my house, you never know what's happening. You're not getting anything filtered here. So take it and like it. That's all you kind of get is reality. Here we are. They always tend to cling to this side. Whichever side you do last. Okay, push them down again. And that would end our seven. Clear bands. There's our first beat. Okay, we'll push them down. Okay, we, so we got two purple. Come on. We got three blue. I decided just to do this whole thing with you. I mean, some people like assistance the whole way. So many of you don't need it, but there are a few that just feel better doing it right along with me. So that's what I'm giving you today. The whole enchilada. But I don't even know any good jokes to tell you during the thing, so I loom and we will go. Here we are. Doo -doo. Here we are. Okay, let's move that one up. Okay. So here we are again. Back to here. Looking pretty good so far. So I just put these on. We had two, three. So we're at this one. Sorry, I just had lunch and I had to kind of catch up to where I was here. So we have a purple. Whoopsie doo. And a blue. Three purples. And you always want to make sure you download this pattern. So when you're falling around, falling along, double check everything I'm doing. And make sure you get this right. There you go. See, if you do that and there's only one comes, make sure you get the other. Again, see how when this snuggles up close it looks like that. Just push it backwards. Push it down. Move this up. Same exact pattern again. Put on your cross bands. A little. Oops, get back down there. Okay. So we got that. And no purple. Blue. One. Two, three more, three purples, a blue, and a purple. Bring these over. Let me slide this a little bit toward me. Okay. So we're going to go up here and move this up one. Now we'll start looming these.
Okay, so next one will be the last one of our lettering. Then we'll move on to more colors. Start looming that rainbow. Start looking real pretty then. Okay, let's push that down. Get our cross bands on. Oops, it oops. Why does that look like that for? See? You notice something looks funny? That didn't go over. Kind of keep an eye on things when you're doing stuff. Make sure you get them. That would have been awful. We would have messed that up royal. Okay, so here we go. We have a purple. And we're going to have five blues. Oops, come on. One, two, three, four, and five, and a purple. And put these over like so. Okay, let's start bringing these up. If you hear noises, it would be my boyfriend clearing off the table and stuff after our barbecue we just had. And we'll let him make them noises. He might even say a word or two. Who knows? Woohoo! He usually comes in and says, are you videoing? Because he kind of knows me by now. So, we'll see if he does that. It'll be interesting. You might just slam around putting stuff away. Okay, so we just finished up that one. So now what do we got? We have a purple and our first red from up here. And then the rest are all purple. That certainly looks good against that purple background. As you can see, I chose the lighter background because that's kind of like this Rainbow Dash, so it looks lighter. So that's what I chose. I didn't go with the deep purple jelly. Even though I contemplated it, I thought, eh, it's a rainbow, you want gentle and soft. So that's what happened when I did that. Whoopsie doo. Here we go. All right. Here's our first row of the rainbow. Whoops, come on. We got that one on there. We'll move that up. So we'll start with purple. Then we'll get an orange and a red. Then we'll go to purple. I guess we'll get to hear the television, but at least it's in the background. So, might catch a little bit about what Maine's going, what's going on in Maine while we're doing the video. God only knows. Okay, here we are. It's not competing with me anyway. Here we go. If I was in the bedroom, they'd be in there watching TV, so can't win sometimes. But at least it's not too annoying. Okay. Here we go again. It's slipping off. Just puck it back on. Okay, let's move that up. We'll put these back on. Here we go. We're going to have some yellow. Purple. 
and a yellow, and an orange, and a red. How pretty this is going to be. And then the rest purple. These are really pretty colors that Rainbow Loom came up with. Okay. Here we are. Like I said, if at any time during the video um, I happen to loom and you can't see it, just go by the pattern and then you can catch up. I'm trying to, from time to time, to show you where we're at and refer to the chart. This one up. Oops, sorry. Sorry, my Bella. I just knocked into my dog. Green, yellow, orange, red, and two purples. Here we go. So anyone out there with a rainbow loom, you are not limited to just doing it the other way. There is always this way. And you do know you got to have, if you're doing it this particular method, which we call the nifty knitter method, then it is likely that you should go 11 or less. I would suggest going no bigger than 10. That way you get an even number of bands, but if you need to stretch it, you can always use five bands on go over to the fifth one. You just have four and five, and the next time do like five and four. You'll figure it out. Okay. So this time we get another color. We get a blue. So we go purple, a dark blue, and a green. And a yellow. And orange. And a red. And again, another purple. Put these colors over. It's getting kind of dark in here. It's kind of. Unless you have some really good lighting, and I do in the other room, it's fruitless to try to loom at night if you're looming with colors that are close together, like skin tones. I just about refused to do them at night. It would have to be a crisis or an emergency that I had to get something done because my eyes just can't determine things that well. Let me make sure I didn't grab two bands on that one. No, okay. Here we go. So our next one is going to be that same exact one thing. pretty. I really like these colors together. I'll move that up so I'm going to have four of these in a row. Start with purple, 
blue. Green. Orange. Red. And purple. Fill that up. A lot of times, like when I started this, I just went with the program, but a lot of times I went to start it with. Well, let me show you. When to start it with blue, I would have gone and put a purple border up here, but I didn't this time because I just wanted to go what was there. Anytime you go into braceletbook.com, you can tweak these and add another row, which oftentimes I do, just to make things even. Or I'll put something extra in the middle that I can do just to make things the way I want them. You can usually figure out how to get just what you want when you're doing this. Here we are. Okay, we're on our last one of these. Oops, so I got three, yes, I got three. You can, you can feel it when you have three. A little bit extra pull. Sorry, see I'm holding this too close to me, and when I do, you can't see very good, which is why I'm saying go by the pattern. You pretty much got this, and when you get this down and you just go by the pattern, you don't have to wait for me. You can just zoom ahead and do whatever you want there. Or a lot of times, you can tell that I'm doing a roll just listening to my voice, so... Okay, here we go, clipping off again. Move oh, this up, almost done here. Let's put a few more of these over. There's four. And four. There we be. So now we're back to green. So we'll go purple. This will be our last green. And a yellow. And an orange. And a red. And now we're back to two purples. Here we are. And you, like I said, you figure out your own colors for this. Do whatever you like. You can take this and add. Just take any pattern and draw it out on a graph of paper and change it up however you want. Change the colors. Add a name beside of it. A lot of things you can do different. Don't be afraid to experiment. Okay, let's move this up. We got yellow. We have orange. And we have red. And we have the purple. 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 And purple. Again, always right to left. And I could start down here if I wanted to. Doesn't matter. You don't have to start at this end. It's wherever you choose. This is, you can go up this way. Whatever you feel comfortable with. You don't have to go in the same order I am. Just got to get them all done. There we go. Move that up. Go across again. Okay. Get a purple in here, get an orange, and get a red. 
and the rest are going to be purple. Oh, that one looks a little wimpy. We won't use that. I'll get rid of that in a minute. Or it'll get lost in the shuffle one way or the other. Might have to, whoops, you do. Might have to get rid of it the next time I see it. You can always tell when a loom bin gets messed up and it's substandard. You can feel the thinness or the weakness of it usually. The most important thing is knowing how to get the first row done. Knowing how to get the last row done. This middle section, pretty much the same all the way if you just follow the pattern in case you get lost along the way. Whoops, I go pushing that out again. It's not really important, just go with what you know. You know after every row you're putting these on. And you know you gotta move it up your pattern each time. So once you have that much figured out, you got it you got it made. Okay, we got a red one, and we're back to the purple. 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 Purple and purple. And pull these up. And pull these over. Here we are. Our pattern is complete. Finally done. So now we have a loom that looks like this. So, most importantly, what you're going to do now is you're going to take this row and you can grab it if you want with your hook. It don't matter, but you're going to grab each one and put that one over it and push it down. I just do it with my fingers because I find it easier. I grab that, I push it down. What do we got here? It's getting a little dark in here. Okay. Push this down. Always make sure you get the bottom ones. I'm doing this slowly so you understand. If I did them all at once, they could get messed up, even though a lot of times I do them all at once. But I'm just showing you. One by one, you just bring each one, put it over the corresponding one, and go over. And here, again, the last one, you bring it over to this one, and you bring it over. Now, this is what we did the whole way. I'm not sure if I showed you the whole thing on video, but... Now we're down to one row. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take this next to the last, not the first row, but the next to the last row. You're going to pick this up and very carefully place it over the first row. Then you're going to take the bottom one up like this. And then I'm going to do this with my hands because I find it easier. You're going to put it back. And be gentle with it. And try to keep some tension on this because you don't want any of these flipping off. And this is a very important part. Okay, put some tension on it and pull it. Keep tension on that one too. They're a little slippery things. So one must use caution. And it's good to use this hook because it's a deep set hook. It's not going to slip off too easy. Let's do it this way this time. Hey, I get a little nervous doing it that way, see? Okay. Not so nervous pulling it, but... On the other hand, bringing it back, there's less tension, so I just as soon grab them both with my fingers, and I know they're there. Okay. 
try to get the angle down low so you can get that over it. Okay, now this, instead of bringing this back, I'm just going to bring this last one over here. And I know I got this to go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one for now. I'm just going to put a band in it. You can clip it off, you can do whatever you want. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to pull this in here. Okay. So, it looks kind of distorted, so you got to start pulling it. you got to start pulling it and making it happen. And then it's going to look more to the shape of what you want. Don't be afraid. Certainly don't be afraid to do whatever you need to do. So let me get my video down. And we will take a picture of this. Like this. Like I said, it's kind of dark in here right now. But let me get my video down. And there you have it. Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash. Okay. You kind of should add another row here just so that looks neater on the edge and it's got the purple up the side of it and here you go very beautiful thank you for watching